So on the table in front of us now, we've got two, two of your treasures. Is this how you keep them in these sort of specially made boxes? Yes, each, each item, each special item has its own protective box. Uh, it's to protect from dust, from light, from, from just being knocked really. And so when we open them, there's always that moment of delight mm. when, you, when you see the treasure inside. And so this is one of the notebooks that would uh, have come to us through the poet's grandson. So it, it's from the family collection and it dates from about 1800. And, and as you can see, there's a... So I, I just noticed you're not wearing gloves there. Gloves aren't necessary. Yeah, well, it's uh, advice that we receive from our conservator. And uh, his advice uh, is that with white gloves, with cotton gloves, your fingers are so much less sensitive. So it's very easy to catch any of these loose fragments. It's harder to turn the pages. So the advice that we're given and, and which we take is that clean, dry hands are, are really the best thing for it. So the, the, the notebook, as you can see, um, I'll just move that out of the way. I mean, the first thing you notice about it, I think, is, is perhaps what, what isn't here. If you look at the end of it, you'll notice that there's any number of pages that have been removed. And it's clues like this that tell us so much about how Wordsworth worked as, a, as an author. So there we are. So we've got pages there that have been completely sliced, sliced out? Absolutely. And, and sliced is the word. I mean, cut very carefully. Mm. Um, and so, you know, one of the questions is, well, why? Why would you take the, the pages out? And uh, it, it could be to give to somebody, it could be to discard, or it could be to cut and to copy those lines from somewhere else. And, uh, and you know, maybe the lines that were on there have reappeared further on in the notebook. So we can see here lots of revisions, lots of crossings out, lots of, I mean, they look almost like the same word being re repeated several times there. In that case it is. That, that's the little word, Amen, that if I turn it, you can perhaps see. Um, that is a word that Dorothy used, was a sister, of course, um, in practicing a new pen. It was her way of, of testing it. And whose writing is, is this, Jeff? This is Wordsworth. This is words that work, as you can see, many crossings out. and and. One of the phrases we, we like to think of is that the, the handwriting mimics the texture of thought, so that if Wordsworth uh, is in an anxious state or a calmer state, you can tell by looking at the handwriting, you know, is it, is it, is it very straight line, you know. Sometimes these words are almost like a straight line, maybe perhaps the energy and the eagerness with which to, to put them on paper. So one of the things this shows is the extent to which uh, Wordsworth revises his work? It does, and, and this of course was the process that that there would be a, a rough draft and then it would be copied out neatly or into fair copy and then that would be revised and then the process would, would keep going until, until it, it had to go to print and that was almost the final point. Once it went to print, there was no more he could do. But until that point, uh, the revisions would continue. But you also notice there's other handwriting in the book. So this is, this is Mary Wordsworth where they've copied out a poem of Coleridge's and uh, if you think, that you, you couldn't simply email somebody a poem you'd written or photocopy it, you, you had to physically write it out. So this includes Coleridge's poems, or a Coleridge poem, as well as Wordsworth's. And so this would be a great example of what we mean by the word manuscript. Yes, a manuscript um, we could define as, as a notebook with, with individual handwriting, um, and unique in that sense. And so by looking at this, as we'll be doing throughout this MOOC, we're able to learn a lot about Wordsworth's process of writing. Well, if you imagine that all we had was the printed poem, uh, without the clues that a notebook like this affords, you, you really would have much less sense of how it came into being and how Wordsworth worked. And so by looking at the, at the original drafting, looking at the fair copies and the different handwritings, the fact that his sister and his wife played their part in handwriting Wordsworth poems, then yes, you, you get a sense of the man 